Welcome. So if you're here, you want to learn how to create a Google knowledge graph. I won't waste any of your time, so let's get straight into it. The very first thing you need to know is that a Google knowledge graph is built by these Google knowledge panels. And often people get confused in what is a Google knowledge graph or a Google knowledge panel, but it's quite simple. A Google knowledge graph is built out of Google knowledge panels and different knowledge graphs might have different panels on them. Now with that out of the way, here's exactly what you need to get a Google knowledge panel. Now, it is not a guarantee that if you do all of these, Google will give you a knowledge panel, but the more of these that you do, the higher your chances are that Google gives you a knowledge panel because you cannot just submit or create a Google knowledge panel in your Google account. It's Google itself that evaluates you, your brand or your business, and then decides if you're noteworthy enough to have a Google knowledge graph in your name or in your business name. But the more of these that you do, the higher your chances are of getting one. I won't bore you by saying how good it is and how valuable it is to have a Google knowledge graph because we both know that it is super valuable. It gives you a lot of exposure, a lot of visibility in the search. It gives you and your brand a lot of authority. But if you're watching this video, you already know that. This is not a video about why knowledge graph is powerful or why it's good or what it can do for your brand. It's it's simply a video on how to get it done. So let's hop in inside my computer and I'll show you exactly how to do it. All right, so we're here. I have a lot to explain, so let's get straight into it. As you know, Google Knowledge Graphs are consisted by these Google Knowledge Panels. And here I have a bunch of Google Knowledge Graphs. And as you can see, for example, this one for a musician uh, has these different panels from the photo panel to the name and um, occupation panel to this available on panel. So there's a bunch of different panels and every single Knowledge Graph is somewhat different, right? different knowledge graphs for different people or different businesses have different knowledge panels. For example, a musician makes sense that it has this song panel, while for example, for Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, it really doesn't make sense that he has a song panel because he's not a musician, right? So different knowledge graphs have different knowledge panels, right? Uh, before I go here to the at this, uh, I'll go over down here. I have a lot to, uh, I have a lot to explain, so let's get straight into it. So the first step, and this seems pretty obvious, is letting Google know who you are, right? Again, pretty straightforward, but it's quite important. And how do you do this? The first step is to set up a Google brand account. Now, this is an account that links with uh, your YouTube, right? So if you go to YouTube, um, I can even do it here. You can click here on view advanced settings and then move your Google account to a different brand account. If in this case, this is already a brand account, but if you don't have a brand account, this will say here, uh, create a brand account or link a brand account. And this is basically what you do to, again, let Google know that this YouTube channel is based on a brand account, right? So again, this is a great way to let Google know who you are and what you do. Uh, now, it is important that um, you don't just focus on YouTube, right? It is important that you create an optimized, this is a keyword here, optimized different uh, social media profiles. That's your Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, all this and more. And these uh, socials, uh, the main reason why they're important to create is because they appear uh, as a knowledge panel on your knowledge graph, right? If we go here again, uh, for Microsoft, for example, this could be a personality, right? They appear right here, the other social profiles, as well as this mu musician, and for example, for Tim Cook, uh, his Twitter, right? So that's another reason why it's important because you're feeding all this info to Google so that Google can build a knowledge panel, uh, knowledge graph, sorry, based on the info that you have online. Right? So that's one of the main reasons why you want to create and optimize these socials. And what do I mean by optimize? It is making sure that you have a proper photo of yourself, you have the, a bio, you have what you do, you have, you have where you're from. You basically fully optimize and fully fill in all the single uh, fields that these platforms or these social media allow you to fill, right? You want to make sure these are fully, fully optimized. And very important as well is make sure it is consistent, right? Make sure your name is consistent on all across these platforms. If, it, if they don't allow to put your name, make sure your handle or your username is consistent across all of these, your bio, where you're from, the photos, right? Make sure you do not confuse Google. That's very important, okay? Now, uh, what else? Of course, you need to let the internet or Google know everything about you, right? The more information Google knows about you, the higher likely it is that they'll set up a Google knowledge graph about you, right? And what does this mean? There's a lot of places where you can post about yourself, right? For example, if you're an entrepreneur, you should post your profile on sites that are dedicated to entrepreneurs. For example, AngelList. If you're a musician, maybe create an optimized profile on mu Music Brain. This is like the Wikipedia for, for musicians. If you're a local business, uh, create local citations. For example, list your business on Yelp, Foursquare, Bing Maps, Apple Maps, all those. If you're like a tech business, for example, create a profile on TechCrunch. And TechCrunch is basically a directory for, for tech businesses, right? If you're a doctor, surgeon, I'm sure there are um, 
dedicated places online uh, for these types of jobs, right? So take a look at what you do or what your business does and try to populate the internet in the specific places where these people hang out with info about you or your business. So this is very important, right? Again, you want to spread the most information about you or your business across the internet, okay? Now, a Wikipedia page, and this is um, where, um, I mean, this is, this is a hard thing to create, right? It's very, very difficult, but it's your best bet for having a Google Knowledge Graph, right? Because the Wikipedia page is an extremely high authoritative source. Having one is a huge step in having a Google Knowledge Graph created. Uh, it is hard because you need to meet Wikipedia's uh, notoriety standards, which is not easy. I, I do have a video on it. I I'll link it in the description on exactly how you can get a Wikipedia page done for you. Uh, either that's a business or 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 a personality. It is a step-by-step -step tutorial. Uh, make sure to to leave this in the description so you can uh, have a look at it. Just full disclaimer: it's quite hard to get one done because you need to have you need to be an authority figure according to Wikipedia standards, which again it's not very easy. Now, as an alternative, you can create pages on Wiki Alpha, Everybody Wiki, or Wikidata, and these are, in theory, at least these two, easier to have pages created on. Right, so think of these as tier two or team B Wikipedia uh, sources, right? So if you cannot get one done here, at least get one done on these two and this one, right? Again, these are authoritative sources that most people trust, Google trusts, and if Google sees that you are listed on there, you have a page on there, it most likely means that you or your business are authoritative figures. And what is more is that Google pulls in info from Wikipedia. For example, here we can take a look at uh, LinkedIn's um, company uh, Google Knowledge Graph. As you can see here, this info right here, this about, about you or about the company, is pulled in from Wikipedia as a source. And uh, For example, for Neil Patel, uh, this little info right here is pulled in from Google Books. So there's a bunch of things you can do. For example, I didn't mention Google Books, but if you're an author, make sure to post your, Google, or your uh, books on Google Books, right? You need to know where you should post and where you should uh, post the things about your business online depending on what niche you're in, just like I was uh, stating here, right? So again, if we can include here another line, if you are a book publisher or if you write books, make sure to list them on Google Books. If you are a musician as well, make sure to list your music on Spotify, on uh, YouTube Music. I think you can understand what I'm trying to say, right? List yourself across the internet in places that are dedicated for musicians, for surgeons, for book writers, for entrepreneurs, right? Take a look at what you are and list yourself accordingly, right? Okay, moving on. You can also do a press release. Now, if you can cannot get a Wikipedia page done, uh, paid PR also helps. Uh, Wikipedia page, a lot of people think that they can get a Wikipedia page by having a press release written about them. It can happen only if the PR is organic because most PR is paid for, right? And uh, it does help, right? It does help. But um, you cannot justify your sources. So if you build a Wikipedia page about yourself, uh, you need to have sources about uh, what you are, what you do, or your, what your business does. And these sources cannot be paid for, right? They, they need to be organic, okay? Uh, but press releases do help to spread your brand across the internet, uh, which is a great way to do so, right? To let the internet know, listen, this is me, this is what I do, and this is my business. And you can have one done if you want. Um, I mean, this is full transparency. I own vetted.com. Uh, this is my business. Uh, I do sell a PR package here if you're interested. I mean, we can get this done for you. You even have your samples. We'll be listing you on MarketWatch. We can list you on uh, Yahoo Finance as well. So you can get listed. You can pay to get listed on all, all of these um, authoritative sources, uh, news sources, uh, which does help uh, letting the internet know who you are and all ties in basically in creating this persona uh, inside Google. Um, to help getting you that uh, Google Knowledge Graph, okay? Now, moving on, uh, structured data or schema markup. I have a video solely on this. Again, I'll link it in the description. But basically, schema markup uh, is this uh, snippet of custom code you can put in your website that gives basically Google as much info as you possibly can, right? Uh, this is quite a complicated subject. That's why I'll, I'll link this 10 minute video, video in the description, which is quite helpful. And on this video, I do things manually, but there are WordPress plugins. If you're using WordPress on your site, that can help you do that. Uh, one of them is Yoast. Uh, but basically what you're doing here is if you have a site about yourself or about your business, you are inserting here some custom code that when Google crawls your site, it sees, oh, okay, so this site is about 
this person that owns this business that's from here that uh, has been founded this year and they do this this and this and they provide these services and this is all info that they can use to build your google knowledge graph okay so all these things that I'm, that i'm listing here this 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 one of these alone won't do the job right it's uh it's about the little things right you you're, you're feeding google these small little factors these small little uh, breadcrumbs and at the end of the day they all add up right so that's the value and that's uh, what i'm trying to, to portray here okay now let me just address what i wrote up here uh, when you're uploading images online whether that's on your site or on youtube or on twitter or any any social media or maybe an article written about you make sure uh that um you um edit the alt text because these images here and these ones, all these ones are chosen for you, right? Google chooses these images, not you. So one way you can try to persuade to some extent Google to choose the images you want is by when uploading them online to any online source that you edit the alt text accordingly. This is not the alt text. This is the file name, right? You can, of course, name the file name whatever you want. But to edit the alt text, I mean, there's tools online. If you're on Windows, you can edit the alt text inside windows but this is not a tutorial on how to edit an image alt text if you want to do that just search online how to edit an image alt text but make sure that you edit both the alt text and the image file name this uh, i cannot say for sure that it helps but again it's all these small factors that you're giving google that in the end uh, will help out okay now moving on google my business and this is solely if you're a business so not a personality not an entrepreneur not a musician not a doctor right uh, if you write clinic dental clinic uh, this will show up, right? Uh, this is the name of the clinic, the times, uh, the reviews, um, photos of the clinic, whatever it is, the location. So this is done by using a Google My Business, which I'm sure you know what it is. Uh, basically it is Google My Business. Uh, you can set up a Google My Business for any business and that's how you get this uh, right here. I do want to point out that I'll, again, I'll link uh, this video in the description, which is a way of getting your social icons listed here because all the info here is populated by you when you create your Google My Business listing, right? But some of the info, like the uh, social icons right here, are not populated by you. They are populated by Google. So Google goes through the internet and sees, oh, okay, so this business has a Facebook, has a LinkedIn, has a YouTube, has a Twitter, and we'll link them down here. So again, I'll link this video in the description, but this is just to show you that Google pulls in the info from all across the internet and pulls it in into these Google Knowledge Panels. Just like we saw here, for example, they were pulling in info from Google Books or from Wikipedia, right? So you need to be consistent all across the internet and provide as much info about you and your business across the internet. Then the final one is simply to connect your site with Google Search Console. Uh, I mean, again, I cannot say for sure if this works, but we wanna have everything under the same umbrella, under the same ecosystem, right? So make sure to connect your site with Google Search Console if you have a site which you should have one uh, if you don't uh, just create one and yeah now this i know this sounded complicated and uh if you don't want to do all this which in fact takes a lot of work you can simply hire someone to do it for you with a guarantee now again uh full transparency this is a marketplace i own vetted.com which is a place where you can hire pre-vetted seo experts and rocky right here rocky roy believe it or not this is his real name which is quite cool in my opinion uh he will create a google knowledge panel uh, or sorry google knowledge graph for you Okay, whether you're a musician, entrepreneur, any kind of personality, he'll create one for you for just 160 bucks. If you want to get it, I mean, I suggest you do. I'll leave also uh, a coupon in the description of the video where you can get, I think it's $20 off. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if you don't want to do all this for you or for your clients, you can simply hire Rocky and he'll do it for you with uh, in 30 days, which is um, quite a good amount of time. Uh, he even has here the all the steps he'll do, the deliverables, some examples from previous clients, and yeah. I won't try to sell you on this anymore, but if you don't want to get it done, he'll get it done for you. And yeah, that's that's basically it. Hopefully you found value in this. Uh, I tried to be as concise as possible uh, in these types of videos. And yeah, thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you very, very soon. Cheers.